What's up guys? How are you doing? I hope you're great. This is Jesse and welcome to another nice tutorial today where I'm going to show you cool stuff. Today I'm actually going to show you how you can easily create a hill shade within Quantum JS. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Let us dive into the tutorial. So the first thing, as I always tell you, is to save your project and then set the what the project coordinate system. So I have already saved my project and then I have set my coordinate system as WGS84. So after that, I go to layer, add layer, and then add raster layer, and then I add my what my elevation raster. As you see, I have added a raster file. As you can see, this is an elevation file. It is an SRTM model sampled at a 30 meter resolution. To go on to create a nice hill shade, what you have to do, you come to toolbox. If you don't have your toolbox, you click here, processing and then toolbox. And then when you come to your toolbox, you search for hill shade. So when you search for hill shade, you come to this raster terrain analysis and then click hill shade. So, uh within this algorithm what you have to do is to select the elevation layer as your what the elevation layer still and then uh, i will change this azimuth to this value and then i also change the vertical angle to be 45 and then after i'll save my hill shade to file let me save it as hill shade tutorial and then I run. So, after some time, as you see, I have a hill shade, but it's not that nice. It doesn't look good. It's still ugly. So, I want to apply some bit of style to it, such that it can look more and more appealing and beautiful. You know. So, let me try to zoom in, and then you see. Yeah. So this is a hill area, as you see. Actually, this is a mountain. Yeah, this is a mountainous what? It's a mountainous area. So what I'm going to do is that I will remove this and then I'll have this display. So I click this layer, the elevation layer. Then I go to its properties. And then I click symbology. And then I'll come here and then the render type, I'll choose it as single band, pseudo color. And then I will come here to the color ramp. I don't want this color ramp. I click here and then I say create a new color ramp. So when I click here, I will select this option CPTCT. Then I click OK. So once I click this option, I'll have a number of color ramps to choose from, you know. So what I have to do, I'll go to this topography. So when I reach here, I will go and look for this SD underscore A. You see it? Yeah. Then I click OK. When I click OK, I will click Apply. Then I click OK. Once that is done, I will go back to my hill shade and then I turn it on. And then I click its properties. And then I come here to the color rendering and then I choose the blending mode. I'll use, let me select multiply and then I say apply. You see? Well, let me, let me see this. Let me have a look at this. Well, this is better than the previous one, but to make it a little bit more beautiful you just come here to transparency and then adjust the transparency a little bit and then let me see let me make the transparency 80 then I apply and then I say okay actually you can even zoom up here on the mountain and then enjoy the what the view yeah so if you have any question don't hesitate to send me an email 
And if you want to ask and inquire about anything geospatial-wise, just use my email and send me any question. I'll be willing to help. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial.